patients with underlying malignancies are at an increased risk for developing neutropenic fevers. The first organism you want to cover for is Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is covered by ceftazidime or a combination of cefepime and an aminoglycoside or imipenem. If the patient has intravenous access, which this patient does, you also want to cover for MRSA with vancomycin. If the patient, however, does not have intravenous access, then you would try an initial treatment just for pseudomonas. If the fever continues beyond three days without the patient having an intravenous line, then you would add vancomycin. Finally, if the fever continues to persist beyond seven days in a patient who did not come in with an intravenous line, then amphotericin B would be added to cover fungal infections. In this scenario, the patient continues to have a fever for five days and does have IV access. Therefore, choice E, vancomycin and ceftazidime, makes the most sense at this time. If the patient continues to have a fever beyond seven days despite being on vancomycin and ceftazidime, then choice B, the addition of amphotericin B, would be correct.